Manhattan specifically is where the best real estate owners, operators, developers exist, um, at least in North America, but probably in the world. Tenant experience is top of mind. That's why we appreciate Camobies so much, being open to trying out new technologies, being at the forefront of AI adoption to optimize their buildings, to, to uh, reduce their greenhouse gas emissions, to save them money, to improve their tenant experience. As Camobies, we constantly look for different improvements and different things that we can do in the buildings to create an environment that is sustainable and also at the same time, the focus is always to make sure that the tenants have a comfortable experience while they come to work. 45 Broadway is actually built in the 1980s. It's a commercial office building, approximately 400,000 square feet. It is heated using a steam system, and that is a relatively rare way in the modern built environment to provide heating to spaces. We relied heavily on the expertise and collaboration of the chief engineer of the building to help us incorporate that into our controls optimization strategy here. When implementing Brainbox AI, he wanted to understand how this system, which operated autonomously in the background, was influencing his system. And so he tasked us to work with his existing control system integrator to program Brainbox's control uh, commands and our set points into his existing graphical interface. When Brainbox AI first came into the building, we were somewhat skeptical as to whether or not we will be able to achieve significant results because most of us thinking about HVAC is it's either on or off, it has to be on when it's on, it has to be off when it's off, but the AI and the way that it learns how to modulate the system and how to turn it off when it's not necessary and turn it on in anticipation of a future cooling need, the results told us that we made a good decision. We saved $43,000, about 234,000 kilowatt hours, about 15% of our overall consumption, which is pretty amazing. And the best part of it was we did not receive any complaints from our tenants, and we were able to save 37 metric tons of carbon dioxide being dumped into our environment just by merely adding the Brainbox AI system to our HVAC controls, and that's pretty impressive. We have energy curtailment that uh, we're mandated to do different times of the year. Con Edison or the city would issue a curtailment request. Brainbox AI technology lets us do that automatically. As the system learns the building, learns how it operates, it's, it's a lot easier between our BMS and Brainbox to be able to implement curtailment when, when requested. From a building engineer's perspective, if he knows that my system is being monitored 24 hours a day, the system constantly updates itself, that gives you some peace of mind knowing that but it's there. One of the largest contributors to carbon dioxide emissions is office buildings because of the heavy consumption of electricity for heating and cooling. So Local 97, which directs landlords through regulation to cut emissions is something we need to implement in our buildings. We have teams of people working on the different components of our energy systems in order to make sure that we are compliant. Brainbox AI is one way that we can become compliant by reducing our utility consumption and our energy emissions. And it makes it a lot easier because it's not adding physical components which add to emissions, it's just adding software, which is almost carbonless. It doesn't cost the tenants anything. They continue to get the same service that they've gotten in the past with the same level of comfort. And all in all, they're very happy and it's a win-win situation. So it helps us feel that we can continue doing this and be able to continue to improve on our operations.